Hello, welcome back to Cold Waters. I'm your current CEO, Otter Exodus. Uh, well, happy Wednesday. For those of you in the U.S., happy after Independence Day. Hope you had a good holiday. If not, well, at least remember what Independence Day means and how many people had to sacrifice for it in this country. And for those of you in Britain, well, thanks for losing that war. We really appreciate our current country. <laughs> I just kidding. Just kidding. All right. Well, we're going to continue our longer campaign stream that we started yesterday and had a fairly successful day in it. Uh, we'll just continue from here. Now, as we speak... Mr. Captain Jive Turkey is streaming on his channel as well. So I realize probably everyone who would be watching mine will be over there. But, you know, Jive Turkey is Jive Turkey. He's the reason why I'm even streaming, so I can't complain. This will be up on the YouTubes after the fact. So those of you watching it on YouTube, please enjoy. I plan on... At this point, I'm basically desperate to find a capital ship a Kirov a Kiev a what's the other one Moscow Moskva is that the I believe that's the helicopter carrier anti-submarine helicopter carrier but all right so our orders from last night if I remember operating in an area about 200 miles north of Iceland important naval forces will be moving into the region shortly therefore you are ordered to find and sink all enemy attack submarines in this area. Intelligence believes that additional enemy naval forces will, may pass through the area. So we're just supposed to sink a whole bunch of enemy submarines. All right, short, simple, to the point. Love it. And going to take one second to make sure I'm set up here properly. Yes, looks like we're set up correctly. Okay. I uh, am trying to get some more things done for, at the very least, uh, Twitch. Actually, it will be going through on YouTube as well, but uh, trying to get a few more things set up as we continue on with the streams here. And... <laughs> and Seabass, Seabass says he made a tool for me. Not quite sure we got going there but no contacts in current AO continue on course so they're operating 200 miles north of Iceland so there's our first group of submarines let's go say hi shall we oh what happened Norway under attack that's not good I don't want to lose those Sosis nets to the north of Norway that would be bad if they take Andoya that's very bad. More submarines. Here we go. We'll go after this group since the other group evaded us. And it looks like we found them. Unfortunately, I am at a flank bell. Well, not a flank bell, a full bell. So we're going 26 knots. Our depth is 600 feet. The only good thing here is that we're deep enough where we're not cavitating. Hi, Seabass. Welcome to the stream over there on YouTube, Mr. YouTube moderator unfortunately i haven't had much work for you you know no trolls no annoying peoples i'll see what i can do to attract some trolls for you to to ban hammer well hopefully i'll get some work for you soon uh we are loaded to bear it's close to 15,000 yards we have a moderate thermal layer at 187 feet and a moderate surface duct broken light breeze should be about average or above slightly above average LE or ambient noise are heading 250 so they're off they're to the right of our bow all right close to 15,000 yards Let's see what we can do here all right sea bass what is this tool you supposedly made for me come on do explain oh hi he's awfully close all right well we're going really fast so we're gonna slow down to one-third here helm ahead one-third 
Sonar! Get those plugs out of your ears and start paying attention, shall ya? Ya shall. Alright, so I love that even though I said close to 15,000 yards, we're at like 4,000 yards? Makes it a lot more interesting. Could be worse. Could be a lot better, but it could be worse. Alright, Sonar, give me a solution here. Come on. Any solution. There we go. New sonar contact designates Sierra 1. Ooh, we have a second contact. Designate second contact Sierra 2. Alright, let's see what this first guy is. Looks like a diesel electric. Sierra 1, classify Romeo, diesel electric attack submarine. Sierra 2 also looks like a diesel electric. Maybe not. Some of these are very similar to each other. Oh yeah, it's a diesel electric guided missile Juliet class. Alrighty. Designate Sierra 2 as Juliet class guided missile submarine. Excellent. They are both way off that way. And if I'm not mistaken, the second one is right there. Either way, we need to get a better solution on these guys. Alright, helm, rightful rudder, bring us to 020 zero zero degrees. Actually, zero, yeah, head north. Come about 30 degrees, bring the Romeo about 30 degrees off our bow, get a good sense of solution on him. On passive sonar, he does not have us. What is ambient noise? Only 81. All right, fairly quiet out there. I am okay with these. Stores, nine torpedoes remaining. Still have all six of our TASMs. May not get to use those on this trip. So far, no surface contacts. Now passing three zero zero degrees on course for north. Now we might lose him as we bring him across our bow. I would assume that they heard me immediately when we entered the mission because we were going 26 knots. That's kind of ridiculous. And by kind of ridiculous, I mean that's extremely ridiculous. But it could be worse. We could have been shallow. If we were shallow and going to 26 knots, we would have been cavitating. And they would have heard every single bubble that we created in the water. Alright, passing three, three, zero degrees. Turning to course, three, six, zero. Cannot chat in your YouTube and you're not on Twitch. Everything look okay over there on YouTube, Seabass? And if anybody's watching me on Twitch, let me know if it's working or not because someone said it wasn't working yet. Well, hopefully it's working. It should be working. Everything set it set up set up correctly. Approaching course three six zero. There we go. Heading north. Well, that was odd, Bright Sun. Not quite sure why things weren't working correctly. I don't know. Twitch is still kind of kind of new to me. I'm trying to figure out how to set up uh, some countdown timers so I can get going live early and get a countdown timer going. 
etc., etc., etc. I'm still learning this stuff, okay? Give me a break. All right, Romeo still at only 38% solution. We are 40 degrees past his course. Odd. that Juliet is like right behind him. Oh, he went active. Thankfully, he's still not going to get us on active quite yet. Get good, says Seabass. And Bright Sun, I mean, yep, had to refresh YouTube to chat. Yeah, it's uh, that refresh button is something that Twitch viewers and YouTube viewers have come to know very well. Because if there's any issue whatsoever, you need to mash that F5 button to refresh. All right, Sierra One Romeo, we have a solution of 73%. So far, range holding steady at 9,000 yards. Weapons con, ready tube one. All right, we have shooting solution on Sierra One Romeo. Helm, come left to course three, four, five degrees. Let's keep the wire on this shot. 95% solution on the Romeo, beautiful. Still pinging away. He shouldn't hear us on his active yet. Still at negative 11 on both his active and passive. These old diesel electric boats do not have very good sonar systems. All right, he's at 317. Uh, helm come left to 335. Want to keep it, him within 30 degrees of our bow so we can keep the wire. All right, firepoint procedures, Sierra 1, Romeo, tube 1, bearing 304 degrees, range to enable 4,800 yards. Shoot tube 1. Weapons, weps, keep an eye on that torpedo. Helm come left to bearing 325. Let's keep that torpedo as, in, as good of a solution on our as good of an angle on us as we can. All right, hold steady, current course. Switch tube three to active sonar in preparation for an attack on the enemy Juliet. CR two, currently 70% solution. I still have his range at 35,000 yards. That can't be right. Sonar, get your shit together. 35,000 yards can't be right. No way. Absolutely no way. Because we can see him. We can see him! He's not 35,000 yards out! Get your shit together, guys! Alright, I don't think Zero One Romeo... Well, he's deep enough. He might not be cavitating at his, uh... Depth. We currently have his speed at 5%. Or five percent, five knots. No way does he not hear our torpedo. No way. But now he will. Contact speeding up. Torpedo has acquired. Yeah, Juliet's right there. Uh, still have his range at 35,000 yards? The sonar! Come on, snap out of it, sonar! We know that's not the case. Uh... Con, sonar, noisemaker, bearing 304. Torpedo has entered countermeasure avoidance. Come on, turn back around, baby. We're gonna avoid steering him for now. Hopefully we'll be far enough away from that noisemaker. Nope, got caught back up on the noisemaker. This is why we kept the wire. Don't want the torpedo coming back on us. All right, if we can 
drive him deep, we might be able to drive him to crush depth. Which still bothers me a little bit, but this will go over him. Yeah. Right, we'll tell the torpedo to go down. depth. There we go. Explosion on bearing. Sierra 1 Romeo. Confirm torpedo hit. Target destroyed. Boom. Alright, what does sonar have? There we go. That's better, sonar. 17,600 yards. Alright, come left to course 320. Weapons con, ready tube 3. Firepoint procedure. Sierra 2 Juliet, tube 3. Bearing 318 degrees, range to enable 11600 yards. Shoot 3. Torpedo room, con, reload tube 1. Torpedo away. Lots of icebergs around. Holy cow. Lots of icebergs around. Beautiful night. If I weren't shooting at Soviets, I'd almost uh, say let's go to the surface and enjoy the view. Look at all these ice shelves around. Wow. Do not want to act. Do not want to accidentally Titanic my ass here. Torpedo's on its way. Let's see if Juliet Sierra 2 will fire back. Go with time compression a little bit here. here just on to bearing there we go that should be better yeah the Russians were not too worried about quiet with this boat were they I mean yeah those are definitely those exhaust ports for the missiles were definitely definitely really quiet features huh I mean nice and smooth while it just runs over that edge very quietly. I mean, these are probably really quiet boats. Yeah, yeah, totally. Not too smart on their part. Kind of amazing how strongly they copied the uh, Nazi Germany. Uh, oh, what was it? The Type 21 boats? Or the Type 11 boats? I think it was 21 boats. Maybe it was 12. German end war electric boats. Very, very fast underwater for the time. Before those boats came out, uh, submarines were limited to about seven to nine knots underwater. Whereas when the Germans came out with that boat, it was, I believe, 18 knots underwater. Huge improvement. More than double the speed were actually faster underwater than they were on their diesel engines on the surface. Much like modern submarines. Alright, Torpedo has acquired a target. Looks like we're locked onto Sierra 2. Go ahead and compress time a little bit. Torpedo closes in. Countermeasure. Yep, countermeasure avoidance maneuver. In theory, it should circle back around. There we go. Good torpedo. Excellent. And these boats, they're just 
very little they can do to avoid a torpedo. Very, very little they can do. Con sonar. Explosion. Bearing Sierra 2 Juliet. Confirm torpedo hit. Alright. Beautiful. No vessels, no weapons, no aircraft. Sink a Juliet and a Romeo. Congratulations on a job well done. Sinking those subs keeps our boys safe. Beautiful. And convoys protected. We sank the guided missile submarine. Ooh, enemy landing force leaving Romansk four hours ago, heading into the Norwegian Sea. Recent intel reports indicate the enemy plans an amphibious landing at Andoya. All right, this we have to protect. Because if they take Andoya, they, there goes our Sosis nets. Um, we're just going to load two T-Lambs and continue on course. Try to get down and protect Andoya. Move it, move it, move it. Yeah, if they take Andoya here, we lose this Sosis line. Then we won't be able to see anything that crosses that line anymore, which gives us a huge advantage. All right, we're going to try to intercept as they cross the Sosis nets. Oh, wow, they were really in, really into the coast. This should be our target. Our heading 056, they're heading or they're bearing 107. They're off our starboard bow. Depth 5,000 feet, speed 5 knots. So right now we are extremely quiet. Very strong thermal layer at 100 feet. Strong surface duct. It's possible they will pick us up on active sonar though because of the duct. But we're still going to risk it and close into 10,000 yards. I don't want to miss this group. Let's make it 15. A little bit more on the safe side. All right, close to rig ship for ultra quiet. All right, up scope. Let us see what we can see. No light. So they're bearing off in this direction. Ooh, hello. Warship this bearing. Mark. Transport this bearing, Mark. Transport this bearing, Mark. Warship this bearing, Mark. Huh. Probably could have played it a little bit less safe and moved into 10,000 yards. Transport this bearing mark. What else do we got out there? Anything? Whoa, hello. Warship, this bearing mark. Master 2. Cashin. that it for contacts? That's a fairly small amphibious group. What have we got for contacts? Have we missed anyone? Looks like three escorts, three transports. Let's get some of these other guys classified. Master 3. Might be another cash in. Oh no, Master 3 is Krivak 1. Definitely Krivak. Master 4, definitely Transport. Alligator LST. Master 5, also an Alligator. Master 6 should be a Rapucha, if I got the silhouette correct. Yep, Rapucha. And Master 1. This one I had no idea. 
Not a cannon. Ooh. Master one, self remedy. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Master one bearing one one one. That's a self remedy, all right. off master four we're gonna try to close the distance scope down alrighty we need what's floor at ooh very deep here excellent all right helm rightful rudder down 30 degree bubbles on the planes make your depth uh, let's go 300 feet Speed up and try to close range. Try to get some of these targets within 10,000 yards. Once we get past 150 feet, I'll feel a little comfortable speeding up to two thirds bell. Crewback one looks like it's searching for targets. Should not be detected. Master 3 Kravak, yeah, no way in hell he's detecting us. He might get us on his total ray if he gets too close, though. Alright, helm ahead two thirds. Releasing ship from Ultra Quiet. Alright, level off the planes. Steady at course 180. Try to come a little bit more in front of the group. Passing 170, approaching designated course. Alright, heading south. Going at 10 knots. Kravak 1 is, wow, he's going 27 knots. Alligator's going 8. Pooch is going 8. Cashin's going 8. We lost Master 1. Alright, 3, 4, 6. Can we go standard bell? Yes. Head standard. Might lose these targets a little bit, but. Speed up time a little bit, try to pull in front of these guys a little bit. That self remedy does have. Alright, slow to one slow to two thirds. Why did that not sound good? I heard what sounded like a splash. Helm slow to one third. Is that the seafloor? Is it that drastic of a change over there? Wow. Alright, we're reacquiring all targets. So, remedy reestablished. He should be on the other side of these guys. Dive, come shallow to 150 feet. All right, some of these are showing up a little bit more on the solutions.
good solutions on these targets. What about Master 2? Only 36%. We may have to come above the layer. That looks like a target right there. That should be the alligator. Oh, do I risk coming to PD or periscope depth or no? That looks like another target right there. Left to course, 2-2-0. Two, two, Try to get a better read on these guys. May have to jump above the layer to get a good firing solution. Ah, oh, that's really close. It's either the Ropucha or the Cashin. Well, I wanted to get in close. We got in close. Holding steady at course 220. All right, some of these solutions are coming up better now. 57, 69, 76, 74, 64. Master 2 cash is still only at 52%. That's actually kind of hard to believe. We got two targets right here. All right, dive, come up to one, two, zero feet. We're gonna try to end up just below the layer. See if it doesn't help us see anything. Should make it one one zero feet. We'll come up to just below the layer. There we go. We are getting good solutions on these targets now. These guys are all oh, so close. All right, hold steady now. One zero six feet. Master two cash in seventy percent solution. I really want to get that self remedy. That sucker has a helo. Most dangerous thing right now is the sub, is the uh, SSN-14 cruise missile assisted torpedoes and that damn helo that the sub remedy is gonna have. At least I that I think the sub remedy has. Wish it told you if it had a helo or not. Maybe the sub remedy does not. I know it has a helo landing pad, but it may not have a helo on board. Anybody know if the sub remedy has a, has a helo on board? I'd like to think it doesn't. That would be entirely awesome if it doesn't. Huh? We'll find out. I want a better solution on that cash in. Looks like the solution's coming up better now. Oh, wow, these guys are really close. Cravac, 16,000 yards. Alligator down to 7,000 yards. Other alligator, 9,000. Almost 13,000 on the Rapucha. We are in close. This is dangerous. 82% solution on the cash in. Cashin still won't have us. We are hugging the layer. That's helping us avoid detection. Krivak is the one pinging away on active. No chance he's got us. He might get a whiff of us on the Totoray soon. Uh, the Cashin, no chance. If it weren't for our Totoray, we wouldn't have any of these guys. Yeah, we have 95% solution with 7 on the Totoray. Wow. Very helpful. All right, there we go. Cash in range, 10,000 yards. Kravac is a lot closer than we thought it was. All right, 
Come, come left to one six five degrees. We're going to shoot at this cash in. We're going to try to get the cash in and the Krivak with our first volley. I think the Krivak got a whiff of us earlier. Nothing now, though. Helm, correction, make your course 160. Passing 180 degrees. Looks like they're turning. I'm okay with that. keep these torpedoes passive. We are going to tell them both to run up, to run shallow. All right, we're going to stop actually at 150. All righty. All right, we're going to take the plunge. Fire point procedures, master two cash in, tube three. Bearing 173 degrees, range to enable 5,700 yards. Correction on bearing, set bearing 180 degrees. Range to enable 5,600 yards, shoot three. Firepower procedures, master three, Krivak, one, tube one. Bearing 027 degrees, range to enable 4,200 yards, shoot one. We are definitely going to lose the wire on tube one. When we do, we'll reload another torpedo. Yep, there we go. Torpedo room, reload tube one. We might be able to keep this wire. change activation on tube 3 let's hope tube 1 picks up on the Krivak soft remedy should be closing in real hard depth control make your depth 200 feet give us a little bit more time in case they launch an SSN 14 really don't want torpedoes dropping on my head Yep, here comes Hilo. Tube one reloaded. Perfect. Alright, tube one has enabled or torpedo one has enabled. Alright. Past two hundred feet. Torpedo three should be enabling. And that's why we went a little bit deeper. We might be okay from that. Oh no, that's coming right at us. Alright, all ahead flank, torpedo evasion, down bubble, left full rudder. Gonna go right under the torpedo. <coughs> torpedo lost acquisition. Alright. Second torpedo in the water. Not sure if it was the Hilo or the ships. Right full rudder. Still down, down all on the planes. Ready countermeasure. Launch noisemaker. Level out the boat. Left full rudder. Hilo is directly above us. Alright, rudder amidships. They're both turning away from us right now. So 
far so good. Still no torpedo detonations. Not sure if those torpedoes were on target or not. Not sure what the hell that was. Directly aft of us? Somebody launched an air launch torpedo back there? Looks like they did. Where is that torpedo going? According to Sonar, we haven't been locked on yet. Oh, he's in our baffles. We're not going to know. No, we should still know. Let's just run the torpedo out. He'll only be gaining us very slowly. Still no torpedo detonation from either one of our weapons. Torpedo room reload tube three. Oh dear. This is getting close. This is getting close. Ready countermeasures. Steady if we need it. sure if this is the first or the second torpedo detonation bearing master three Krivak target destroyed yes it's like we may have missed the cash in however which is not what I wanted never mind torpedo detonation bearing master two cash in target destroyed both of our weapons had good track we are currently running like hell trying to outrun this torpedo. Come on. Looks like the other one was the first one dropped. This should run out of energy and detonate any second now. Any second now. Come on. Run out of juice. Come on, baby. Launch countermeasure. Shit. All up on the plane, left full rudder, knuckle formed. Oh. That was close. That was close. Helm ahead one third. Rig ship for ultra quiet. All up on the planes. Bring it shallow. Sonar, I want to reacquire that sub remedy. Got the transports dead ahead. Looks like one of those may be the self remedy. I will tell this torpedo to run up, run shallow. Rudder amidships remain all up on the planes. Alright, fire down active bearing. Snapshot, tube three. Range to enable 2,700 yards. Weapons enable torpedo. Get it to the surface. Ready second torpedo, he might take two to kill. Passing five nine zero feet. Torpedo running good. Torpedo has acquired a target. May not be the target we want. Looks like it should be. 
Oh yeah, that's the style of Remini. Good torpedo. Noisemaker in the water. Looks like our torpedo does not care. Torpedo impact. Contact breaking up. Passing 200 feet, level out the boat. Torpedo room, relay, reload tube two with a T-LAM. All right, do we have the other? Yep, we have master eight. Six or Pucha one three five. All right, helm come right to course one three zero. All right, depth control bring us up to periscope depth. Shouldn't be any more threats out there. Press time a little bit. Passing eight zero feet. Passing six zero feet. Approaching periscope depth. There goes that sovereign. He did not waste any time sinking. Hold steady at four or five feet. Up scope. Let's get a positive bearing on these guys. You are the alligator right there. You are the other alligator. The hell is the Rapucha? Right there. All right, fire point procedure, Master Four Alligator. I'm gonna set this to narrow detection. Bearing one one nine, range to enable nine thousand seven hundred yards. Shoot to. Beautiful. Should see a nice explosion there. Five point procedure, Master Five, Tube Three, Missile, Bearing, One, Three, Three, Range to Enable, One, Four, Two Hundred Yards, Shoot Three. Boom! Alligator destroyed. All right, and Fire Point Procedure. Master 6 Rapucha. Bearing 131. Let's widen that. Range to enable 17400 yards. Shoot for. Got Master 5 Alligator. Missile on course. Should activate past the alligator and hopefully turn and engage the Rupucha. There is still still there, still see the missile. Hopefully I give it enough time to turn in on the Rupucha. Master 6 Rapucha hit and sunk. Alrighty, that should be all targets. No aircraft nearby, no ships nearby. Sunk all six targets. Only four Mark 48 torpedoes remaining and three Tomahawk anti ship missiles. But successful defense of Andoya. Great job, says the Admiral. 
Navy Commendation Medal. Hell yeah, we got some bling. I will take bling. Showing off for the USS Boston. Excellent, excellent. Will not complain whatsoever. Norway defended. Alright, what's our next orders? Alright, enemy at sea replenishment. From Archangel momentarily for the rendezvous near the Barents Sea. This could be dangerous. We don't have many weapons remaining either. XO, reload tubes. Give me three torpedoes and a TASM for now. And let's double check here, make sure everything's still up and running. I heard a ding somewhere. Up, oh, there we go. All right. Perfect. 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 Alrighty. Continue on course. They're leaving Archangel. And we probably hit a gatekeeper. Ah. I don't want to hit any gatekeepers. All hands, battle stations. Don't close in. We're just going to try to run like hell. Alright, to bring ship for ultra quiet. Let me guess. Vessels nearby. Of course there are. Why would there not be vessels nearby? Very noisy, sounds like. 94 decibel. That should help in hiding and hopefully escaping. Anything nearby that I can see? Doesn't look like it. Alrighty, sonar, get me a contact. Come on. Probably should have read that a little bit better. There we go. Contacts here, one. God, that almost looks like a trawler. Not quite. Class by Sierra One as Romeo Submarine. Really? Lost contact. Bearing 106. Uh. Helm come right full rudder. Set your course 286 degrees. We're just going to try to leave the ale. Speed up time a little bit. Come to course. Passing 280. Alright, we're basically... He's basically right behind us. We are at 363 feet. Helm ahead, standard. Let's just leave the area. 20 knots, no way in hell that Romeo could keep up. The only thing he can really do is shoot a torpedo at us. But at this range, it should run out of juice. Alright, we're going to put his last known contact about halfway to the border here. And just try to leave. Need to save all my weapons for that replenishment group. Possible he got a whiff me, but probably not. All right, can we leave? Nope, still vessels nearby. All that means is we have a contact within 15,000 yards. Just 
need to get that contact outside of 15,000 yards. At 20 knots, no diesel electric boat, except maybe the Kilo. Hopefully we don't have a Kilo on us. Kilos are fairly capable boats. I was almost sunk by one in an off-stream campaign I'm doing. Alright, how about now? Nope, still a vessel nearby. Come on. Come on. How about now? There we go. And we're out. A Tango and a Romeo. Two diesel electric subs. Easily, easily outrun those guys. Lamp on Twitch. Welcome back to the stream. I was hoping I was going to see some of you guys from the other night. Welcome back to the stream. Oh, god dang it. I'm trying to get over by Archangel to kill a resupply group, but these assholes are not letting me. And the downside, I have four torpedoes remaining and only two Tomahawk anti-ship missiles. I do still have four decoys, but ideally. All right, rig ship for all to quiet. Let's get a bearing on whoever's trying to hunt us here. Speed up time while we come to a stop. Oh shit. CR1's cavitating. Does that mean he hurt us? Oh god, I hope not. What are you? Oh, this isn't looking good. This is not looking good. Victor 3? Nope, only a Victor 1. Okay, thank... Thank heavens! Only a Victor 1. Tornado Dash! Welcome back to the stream, man. Or woman. I don't want to assume. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Victor One bearing zero one one. How are you guys doing tonight, Lamp and Tornado? Uh, and that would be a launch transient from the fucking Victor. Oh, son of a bitch! All ahead flank torpedo maneuver. Left full rudder. Damn, damn, damn! He's already launching SSN 16s at us. What an asshole! Yep, torpedo already has us. Straighten out the boat, prepare countermeasure. Launch noisemaker. Which way is he gonna turn? All right, up full bubble, right full rudder. Let's come back over it and circle around. All up on depth control. There we go, there we go. Bubble out the boat. Oi. I don't have the weapons to be playing with you guys. Ah. Launch transient. God damn it. Launch countermeasure. Down, full, right, full rudder. Thankfully this wasn't... Alright. Ah, thankfully this is an airdrop torpedo. It's really slow. Keep going down. Bring us down. Back down to 600 feet. We're gonna shoot down that launch transient. All right, level out the boat. Should be safe from that torpedo. All right, snapshot, tube one. Down active torpedo bearing, 
bearing one three degrees range to enable one eight hundred yards ah we're going way too fast god damn it well there goes that tube and that torpedo all right left full rudder bring us back he corrected the torpedoes course switch sonar switch to active homing active sonar I want to find this guy which campaign is being played? 1984 on Elite Difficulty, Tornado. Alright, surface, bring us shallow. That torpedo's gonna start its search. Ahead two thirds, slow down the boat, get us below 20 knots so we can shoot back at this asshole. Level out the boat. Low 20 knots, snapshot, tube 3, down bearing of Sierra 2. Did he fire another air launch torpedo? Well, if you did, you're an ass. Torpedo has acquired target. <sighs> this isn't even Sierra, oh, it's a Sierra! Oh, that would be why I'm having such problem. You played the modded 2004 campaign earlier? Uh, which mod is that? I don't remember what mod that is. Is that just the Russian subs mod that adds in 2004 subs? Is that the one you're talking about? Alright, secure active sonar. We have a torpedo on us. What effing torpedo is on us? That guy. I'll head flank. Let's outrun this torpedo. You are an asshole! Tornado Dash, why are submarines so big now? Uh, They need to do a lot more things nowadays. Alright, launch decoy. He's turning right. Down full, right full rudder. Pass underneath this guy. Depth 600 feet. Torpedo reacquired should pass harmlessly over us. Up on the planes. There we go. Alright. All up on the planes. Left full rudder. Let's pass back over this guy. Up on depth control. Oh, is that the Flight 2 and Flight 3 with the SSN-21 mod? I didn't know that added, like, 2004-era stuff. Where the hell was the last bearing on that Victor? Due north. So we don't want to head due north. We have... Two torpedoes and three missiles left. Flight, yep, Flight 2, 2004 campaign. Oh, I am going to have to try that one of these times. Kind of want to finish this campaign, though, but then we'll move on to try that. Yeah, that they add the Akula and the Sierra 2, don't they? Much better sonars on those boats. Alright, I had standard. Standard, we shouldn't be cavitating at 300 feet. There we go. The hell is that torpedo again? Is he homing on the wreck? Just to add insult to injury, let me go ahead and hit you with your own damn torpedo. Ha! That's what you get for shooting that shit at me. Akula was a challenge to fight. Yeah, I bet it was. Akula and Sierra 2 are dangerous boats. Much more quiet with much better sonar than their previous generations. Uh... Is that a... Oh, hi. Shit. That's a torpedo. That's a torpedo. Why is there a torpedo there? I don't want there to be a torpedo there. Alright, right full rudder, bring us to course one. Well, bring us to course.
4090. Head due east. Good lord. He's correcting the torpedo. He's got me on his sonar. I don't have him. That's because I'm going at 20 knots. On the last mission in the campaign, Tornado says there was an Akula in it and I never found it. Yeah, I believe it. Akulas are fast and fairly quiet for Russian boats. Alright. He's still correcting his torpedo. Stay on the right full rudder, make your course 270. See if we can run this torpedo out. Actually, make your course 180. Let's just head away. Let's head deep and outrun this guy. I want to save every weapon I have remaining for that. For my actual target. We passed the course. Let's come back to 180. And floor is at 733 feet. We'll come down to 600 feet and go ahead flank. Head full. We should be okay on flank once we pass 500 feet, I believe. Maybe it's 550, right in there. has acquired. Ready countermeasure. Alright, right full rudder. Let's see if we can knuckle. Yep, there we go. Left full rudder. Right full rudder. There's a knuckle. Left full rudder. Launch countermeasure. Which way is he going to turn? Alright, all up on the planes, right full rudder. See if we can get him to lock in on the wreck. No, 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 not today. I deny you your meal. Level off the boat, come right full rudder again. Let's stay above this thing. Or left full rudder. I mean. You know what I mean, not what I say. Back on submarine size. When you come across a modern sub, you think they're ginormous? Yeah. They're big. They need more room for equipment. They carry much more in the way of ammunition than they used to. And we are basically just getting better at um, being able to pressure, being able to withstand pressure with submarines, so we're able to make them bigger. Um, for instance, the uh, um, permit class could dive way deeper than the LA because it was a lot smaller. But because it was a lot smaller, it was slower. It uh, could put out less power. Could carry less weapons. Knuckle formed, and he ran out of juice. Beautiful. So a larger submarine can do more things. Just like a surface warship. A surface warship, the larger it is, the... God damn it. Where the hell is he shooting us from now? I heard a launch transient. I saw it momentarily on the scope. has a max speed of 32 knots. Okay, so we can outrun him. It's just going to take some time. And there's another torpedo incoming. How far off? Let's head back down deep. 3 a.m. here. Bedtime, guys. All right, Lamp, we'll catch you later.
Thanks for tuning in and saying hi. Yeah, I hate that time difference. That time difference makes a lot of things hard, especially when you have a lot of friends across the pond. Heard the launch, but that was all. Come on. Passing 400 feet. Level out the boat. Five five zero feet. Passing five sixty, so five sixty on the LA about ish is where you stop cavitating at Flank Bell. Oh no you don't. Bring me back up to six hundred feet, please. Looks like we're flat seabed for a while. Let's speed up time. Try to outrun this guy. Looks like the torpedo's coming in there. It'll definitely run out of juice before it gets us, though. If he's got it set to active a ways away, it should home him right in on the Sierra. see that torpedo anymore. Alright, we might be able to leave. Yes, we can leave. We sunk the Sierra, the Victor one escaped. Sounds like the sounds like Killerfish Games crew may be adding the Persian Gulf at some point, says Tornado Dash. That would be very interesting. Because the only enemy subs that they we would be going against would be not very capable diesel electric submarines from uh, for instance Iran etc in the Persian Gulf that would be interesting though all right this should be our target because there were surface group coming up from Archangel this should be our target I don't think I can repair that can I no damn it that makes me mad All right, we're gonna stick with two torpedoes and one T lam. We are gonna close to 15,000 yards. Overcast, gentle breeze, very weak thermal layer, 196, and they're bearing 185. And looks like we may have found them. All right, up scope. Contact Sierra 2, bearing 152. Should be right in this area. There he is. No idea on identification. Come on, give me laser range finder. Depth control, slowly make your way to 4 or 5 feet. Let's get above these waves a little. There we go. CR2 upgraded to Master 2. Range 14,000 yards. Looks like we got two more targets out there. I think that might have been the resupply ship. CR3 bearing 169. Man, I just don't see anything. He should be right there. Ah, oh, there he is. There he is. Come on, give me 
a bearing. There we go. Master 3, range 16,000 yards. And Sierra 1, bearing 189. There you are. That's definitely a warship. There we go. Master 1, range 14,700 yards. Alright, we're fairly close to them. I can't hardly see anything. Well, these are horrible conditions out. Uh, let's classify Master 1. Warship. like a cannon? Did I miss cannon? Not a cannon. Oh, Krivak. Oh, that's interesting. Master 1, classified as Krivak 1. Master 3. Might be our Tender. Yeah, I think this is our tender. Ugra. Ugra. Ugra usually is a subtender. Uh, sonar. Be on the lookout for possible submerged contacts. look like a larger ship. Cash in. Could be a Krivak. Yeah, I think he's a Krivak. It looks like he's got the quad missile launcher up front. Alright, we'll tentatively classify him as a Krivak. Possible two enemy Krivaks and an Ugra. All right. What is that? Hooger's bearing 177. Helm come right. Rightful rudder to bearing 177. We'll split the difference and launch one torpedo at each escort. Master 2. We are getting ESM pings off these guys. I don't... That's something I think needs to be fixed. We shouldn't be getting ESM pings with only the... Periscope raised. You see him clearly. Oh yeah, definitely Krivak there. Oh, he's moving pretty good too. Oh, he went up to 27 knots. He may have heard us. Or seen our periscope on radar. Either way, we're going to keep the scope up for now. Tell these guys to just fire straight at passive. How fast is this guy going? Alright, rudder midships. Master 2, bearing 153, I passed him. Tell you what, it's easy to overlook guys that with this kind of this kind of weather out there. Eight knots. Alright, firepoint procedure. Master 1, Krivak 1, Torpedo 3. Bearing 221, range to enable 5,700 yards. Shoot 3. Five point procedure. Master two Krivak. Tube two. Bearing one three. Well, one four five. Range to enable five thousand nine hundred yards. Shoot two. Yep, you're definitely on the move. And quickly. Activate.
activate both weapons. I don't want to risk it. We lose these wires. There's got to be a submerged t contact, and Ugra is usually a submarine tender. Steer tube th torpedo three onto target bearing, and tube two steer onto target bearing. They may not have heard us. He's not turning away, so I don't think they have us detected. I don't think. Torpedo 3, locked onto target, Master 1. Torpedo 2, still closing. Yes! Master 1, contact destroyed. Ship breaking up. the Ugra. There you are. Torpedo still on course. Krivak should be turning around to investigate where that torpedo came from. Tornado Dash says, also in the 04 campaign, I don't think I ever took on two submarines. Really? You didn't come across a group with two submarines or took on one submarine? It was always two submarines. Gotcha. That makes a little bit more sense. That would make a little bit more sense from what I would expect. Alright. Torpedo homing on to Master 2. Lower scope. Let's go ahead and get a torpedo's eye view from this one. Oh yeah. Nothing he can do on this. Thankfully, it was noisy out. He had no idea we were here. Noisemaker, I don't. It was too far of an angle off the torpedo's bow. Huh. Tornado says, once had to fight an Oscar and two types of victors. Yeah, that's, uh, every once in a while I'll come across something like that. That's kind of scary. Master 2 hit and destroyed. Alright, raise the radar mast. Let's get a positive lock on this Ugra. Master 3 Ugra bearing 168. He is way too close for missile. Well, shite. Alright, dive. Let's get below the layer and do a quiet search for an enemy sub. Just in case he is acting as a submarine tender. The Ugra and the Dawn are usually submarine tenders. Ah, I forgot to lower the scope. You know what? Let's come up then. I don't want to damage it more. I want to actually be able to repair it. Forgot to lower the radar mast. I don't have any more torpedoes ready. The Ugra has active sonar? Ugra does have wolf paw active sonar. Wow, that's interesting. Above 100 feet and repair the radar mast, which I can't because it's now destroyed. Oh, happy day. Alright, head back down. Seabass is back on YouTube. He says he fixed his Wi Fi. Welcome back. I'm sad you destroyed your Wi Fi. What'd you do that for? Alright, right full rudder. I just don't think there's any submarine out there. 
continue all down. We need to increase range on this Ugra so we can launch a T, a Tasm at him. Alright, ahead two thirds. Come to course 270. We'll increase range on the Ugra and fire a Tasm. Passing 300 feet. Increase to standard. Alright, level out the boat. Floor is at 712. We got plenty of room. Passing 560. Increase a head full. Definitely past 270. Alright, come back left. I don't know why the hell the Ugra hasn't changed course. Seabass says, yeah, sorry, Wi-Fi went down. Problems with living between the Nowhereville and Countryside City. <laughs> yeah, that would probably be an issue. Master 3, Ugra reestablished. Alright. On course 270. Ahead flank. Come back up to 600 feet. We'll increase time here a little bit. Increase range. Slow down, come back to the surface, and fire a Tasm. It's like we're running out of ocean. Come up to t five, six, five feet. Alright, that should be enough. Come up to the surface. Slow to one third. Passing 100 feet. Alrighty. Turn us back towards the target. time compression up scope let's get a positive bearing and range on him and we'll hit him with a tasm switch to low light any second now there he is there he is all right range to target 16,000 yards perfect for a tasm all right fire point procedure Master 3 Ugra, Tube 4 Missile, bearing 089, range to enable 9,700 yards, shoot for, missile booster drop confirmed on course. So far, so good. Missile has enabled acquired target, turning into target. Not sure if you can see that on stream. Kind of cool to see that, actually. Boom! Master 3 Ugra hit and destroyed. Tornado Dash says, I don't think I've ever used the Tasms. I just use Harpoons and T-Lamb when needed. Yeah, I like... I like the Tasms, actually, because the warhead is bigger. Um, you're able to sink uh, targets that take two or three Harpoons to sink. You're able to kill them with one hit, if you can 
get past their sea whiz um, so if you're going to use a tasm against a warship only use it if they're bow on um, otherwise you're free to engage transports yeah tasms are nice because you can just sink them no problem no contacts nearby that was our supply group all right new orders to be sent on this downlink he better tell us to go back to port and rearm and repair silver star beautiful and Seabass asks if I have found a capital ship yet. I have not. I'm really bummed about that still. I think we might just skip the next mission or two and just look for a freaking capital ship. The, the whole time, all like 50 hours I've played this game so far, I have yet to encounter a capital ship. Alright, proceed on course. We're getting the hell out of Dodge. We have no weapons to engage any submerged contacts with. Just, you see nothing, you hear nothing, there's nothing here. Just ignore me. And we should be good. Alright, I want that chicken Kiev, yo. Kiev class, I'd love to sink one. Iriel! Welcome to the stream, I haven't seen you in a couple days, welcome back. Eriel on YouTube says I've sunk two capital ships, one torp each. Not that exciting. What? One torp each? And I just saw Jive Turkey before I started streaming go after that Kiev, and that took two or three. One torp each. What were you, were you playing on uh, easy or normal difficulty? All right, from the Admiral, we have... <laughs> Eriel says, oh, hey, busy with kids. I know that feeling. I know that feeling. Um, if you missed yesterday's stream, I did a four-hour stream for to celebrate Independence Day here in the States. And during that four-hour stream, I had to engage baby difficulty mode. Uh, my wife had to have me uh, hang on to the baby for five minutes while she got the baby ready to go for a walk to go see Grandma. And I was fired at several times. <laughs> during this oh horrible horrible baby difficulty mode it was so much fun until she started trying to choke me but uh Irial says i got lucky it was the helicopter carrier ship i'm on elite so it was a kiev and one torpedo killed it huh that is extremely surprising but you know if you hit it right i suppose uh were you using any mods? Was it a Mark 48 ad cap or just a regular Mark 48? All right, so an enemy Oscar or Charlie class cruise missile submarine is attempting to break out through the Denmark Strait in order to attack vital North, North Atlantic convoys. We might miss this one. Repair the mast. Yeah, we're gonna miss this one. Repair the tubes. Definitely missing this mission. Mark 48 regular flavor. Huh. <laughs> and Seabass on YouTube says, Stolidium decays rapidly in the presence of capitalism torpedoes. Yes, that they do. <laughs> Love it. All right, stores, we're going to reload up to six TASMs. Yeah, we got, we missed the mission. No choice there. We had to, we had to rearm and repair. Convoy hit. Well, shite. That's no good. All right, so we're going after tenders again. They're rendezvousing in the Greenland Sea this time. All right, let's finish loading weapons here. Five TASMs, still have our four mosses, and everything else is going into Mark 48s. 16 Mark 48s, four moss, six TASM. All right, 104 hours in port. Yikes. All right, cast off. Let's go see if we can catch that subgroup. Or, no, we failed that one. West Germany Falls. Well, that's not a good thing. Now we're looking for replenishment ships up in the Greenland Sea. Or, I should just start attacking every surface group I can find. I really, really want to find, a cap find and sink a capital ship. 
Seabass <laughs> uh, says he was thinking of making a custom campaign for me with every mission in the Barren Sea. Well, that, sir, is why you are kind of an asshole. But we still love you. Even though you're kind of an asshole. Alright, these torpedo tubes were loaded. I know they were when I left port. That sucks. Alright, this is not our target. This is just a random surface group. Everybody cross your fingers. Hope there is a uh, capital ship in it. Because I want to sink a capital ship. Close to 15,000 yards. Let's do this thing. Rig ship for all to quiet. <laughs> we kind of started off loud. Torpedo Dash on Twitch says, The Barrens sucks, especially when you have to fight a Delta 3. Yeah, Deltas are quiet in the Barrens. The Barrens Sea is so noisy, it's hard to find those freaking SSBNs. Absolutely a pain in the ass. Jive Turkey says, Hi, Outer Exodus. <laughs> Hi, Jive. Thanks for joining in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was funny. I'm about to stream and says Jive went live. I'm like, oh, there goes everybody that could have been watching mine. <laughs> no, it's all good, man. I got to see you sink that Kiev. Made me insanely jealous. I still have never come across a capital ship in this game. That's what we're trying to do tonight. Really, really, really want to find a capital ship tonight. All right, contacts in our baffles. Helm come left to course 080. Yeah, Kiev was nice. I bet. That's why the title of my stream tonight is Chicken Kiev. God, I want some of that Chicken Kiev. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I just can't seem to find the damn thing. That was a random encounter east of Iceland. Hmm. Well, I'm now up in the... This might just be a gatekeeper squadron, though. Kind of near the uh, northern Norway Sosas Nets. Passing 9.5 degrees. We'll hold steady at 080. What are conditions like? Ellie's at 91. That's not bad. That's kind of high, but not too terribly bad. <laughs> uh, Seabass is quoting me while putting words in my mouth. See that son YouTube says, Fuck the war, I want to get me some capital tonnage. <laughs> uh, uh, pretty much, I want to sink the big boys, man. You know, brag to the ladies whenever we're on uh, shore leave. Alright, we got nothing in the way of detection on these guys here. It is 91 decibel ambient noise, or LE, as Jive says, shrug. Don't know why it's called LE, but... All right. All right, we're getting nothing at 600 feet. Uh, dive, make your depth 300 feet. Let's see how that'll do us. I mean, I've gotten nine ships twice now. Still cannot find a damn capital ship. <laughs> I'm starting to think they're keeping them in port. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Bright Sun. Bright Sun says it's all about them big bottom gals. There we go. Coming shallow is giving us better solution. All right, let's hold at three five zero feet. Level out the boat. Alrighty. Let's get Sierra One classified. Oh, we got good track on him. Might. Oh, we got a cannon class. DDG. Cannon? Cannon? I don't know. Alright. Cannon class DDG. 
only target we have so far. Sonar wants to say he's at 23,000 yards. I think he's closer than that. Four floors on the floor. <laughs> um, on the bright side, at least I'm not in the Barrens right now. That would suck. Right, we may need to close some distance here. Cannon's got nothing on us. All right. Helm ahead two thirds. Come left to course a three six zero north. Let's uh well make it three four zero. We'll close range on these guys. I wanna find that big bottom gal. Passing three zero degrees. Jive, I missed the rest of that encounter with the Kiev. Was there what what did it have as escorts? And did it get any helos off on you? time a little bit here. I'm going to close range on these guys. Mm. Ah, hell. Alright, helm ahead standard. Let's catch up to these guys. Still getting active pings from this, dir from this direction. Active sonar dead ahead. <laughs> Jive Turkey, there's I every single one of my streams and videos so far I've been doing for Cold Waters, I've gotten one thumbs down. The Kiev did, I think. <laughs> yeah, the Kiev I'm looking for probably to put the thumbs down on there. But on YouTube, any thumb is a good thumb. All right, still no layer. Yikes. All right, Helm, come back right to course. Uh, make it zero two zero. Slow to one third. See if we can hear anybody. There's two targets out there. Slowing past nine knots. <laughs> Seabass says, I rate this stream one out of ten. Not enough key. I'm trying, man. I am trying to find these capital ships, damn it. Wow, he jumped. Still got two active sonar bearings. So not very strong active bearings. They're still a ways out. Oh, they're definitely a ways out. All right. Head full. Oop, drop down past 400 feet. Don't quite need to be cavitating here. Lost the cannon. Alright, should be any second now. There we go. Alright, level off the boat.
Ireal says, can anyone recommend a good rule of thumb regarding how to determine if enemy active sonar is getting returns off your hull? Well, the game makes it kind of easy. If, if you want to just use what the game gives you, there will be a yellow icon that pops now. up in the upper right-hand corner if they have a sonar return. And we have a follow. Who followed? Hund DK followed. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it very much. I hope that wasn't too loud. If that was too loud, guys, let me know. I don't mean for that to be overwhelmingly loud. Um, but thank you for the follow. I hope you're getting a little bit of enjoyment out of this. And feel free to say something in Twitch chat. I love the interaction between chat. It's why I'm doing this. So much more fun to talk with people in chat than not. So if you feel so inclined, say hello. Let me know you're there. Any questions, let me know about the game. Not about the game. Doesn't matter. Say the same thing to everyone around here. All right, let's speed up time a bit. But yeah, E-Real, the, uh, the game will tell you if you get an active return. But otherwise, uh, the signature tab, if you have a contact, will give you basically information on whether or not your sonar operators think that they'll get a return on you. If it's a negative number, odds are most likely they will not be able to get a return on you. Um, positive, it's possible. Once you get to 5 or 10 on the SNS comp contact return, they will most definitely have you on active sonar. Yep. The Russians always drive around with their active going. That was kind of the that was part of the difference in the Cold War between us and the Russians. We had much better passive sonar. They had better active sonar. Their doctrine basically focused on active. All right, let's double check. All right, we might have to turn a bit here to close range. All right, where's that second ping coming from? One. Dead ahead, okay. Hopefully closing range. Gotta be closing range. No way in heck we're not closing range. Sonar ping still dead ahead. We're going 26 knots. If they're outpacing us, they're really loud. They've got to be really loud if they're outpacing us. All right, come out of time compression. Let's do a search here. Come left to course two, three, zero. Then we'll slow down, come shallow and do a search. All right, course two, three, zero. Maneuvering ahead one third, all up in the planes, all up ballast. Make your depth 400 feet. Slowing past 10 knots, passing 500 feet. Level off the boat, stay up on depth control. All right, we got CR2 contact. Reestablish contact on CR1 cannon. CR2 got a decent return as well. It does not look like it's a capital ship. I could be wrong. Kara Udaloy. Ah! Uh, all right, we have a cannon and an Udaloy as our two targets out there. All right, well, that's that. We're not going to engage those assholes. We're going to go up and get our target here real quick. And then we're going to come down and look for a capital ship. This is ridiculous. Where's my chicken? Kiev, dang it. Kiev, Kirov, Moskva. I don't really care. I just want one of them. I want to eat them. 
Nom Nom. You know, all the good stuff. All right, sonar contact bearing 311. Our heading, wow, our heading 039. All right, they're quite a ways. They're basically abreast port of us. Um, status report, we are loaded. Let's close to... F uh, let's make it fun. Close to 10,000 yards. Weak thermal air at 117 feet. And again, they're bearing 311. All righty. Immediately slow to one third. What do we got? No contacts. Conditions 94 decibel. Wow. <laughs> uh, Seabass over on YouTube thinks he's funny. Why did you you to leave? It's Udaloy or Udaloy, not. Uda Lee. Man, even your puns are bad tonight. Poor Seabass. Anybody over on YouTube, give Seabass some loving. He, uh, he, he tries as hard as he can, but uh, just doesn't work out for him sometimes. Alright, we got Sierra 1, Sierra 2. Get some classifications. Active sonar in the water. Sierra 1. Uh, Cresta? Krivak, I mean? Nope. The hell are you? Where did I miss you? I missed him. There we go, Grisha. Ah, that's less than fun. And this guy... Sverdlov? Really? <laughs> E-Real, you're not helping out here, man. You're, you're supposed to... Well, I suppose you are giving him love like I asked, but... Alright, classify Sierra 2 as a Sverdlov. Let's go ahead and cheat. I like this boat. I really like this boat. It just looks good completely pointless as a combatant against me, but it's a good looking boat. Very World War II reminiscent. I like it. I very like it. And this, actually, would be a very good screenshot. Get the mouse out of the way and screenshot that beauty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seabass says that's a mean-looking mother. Yeah. Basically, if you get too close to this guy, you're just going to die. He's got guns, 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 and more guns. With uh, some fairly modern targeting computers. Yeah, it's just a good-looking ship. I like it. I really like that ship. And then you got the poor little Grisha. I actually feel sorry for this guy. He's out farther from the coast than he probably should be. Although Grishas have gone out to deep waters. So it's not completely unusual for them to go open ocean, but still quite unlikely. And that looks like another Grisha. Okay, we're cheating. Stop cheating. We're done cheating. Bring back my hut. We have Sierra 3 and Sierra 4. Sierra 4 should be that other Grisha. Yep. Or Sierra 3. God, I can't. Tornado Dash on Twitch asks, why is a Grisha out that far? Well, they make really good close-in escorts. Um, it's not completely uncommon for them to be out this far, but like I, like I said, they... Uh, normally are a coastal patrol boat. But there have been recorded cases of them coming out this far. And I think that's not a chilkin. I would have thought that was a chilkin. That uh, looks like we got a Dubna. 
double check this here. Dubna. Yep, I think that was a Dubna. Alrighty, two Grishas. A Sverdla. I want that Sverdla. I want that Sverdla. Alright, guessing range 2 Sierra 2 Sverdlov. 11,900 yards. Alright, let's shore up solution a little bit. If need be, I will bring us above the layer. Yeah, screw it. Get above the layer. Let's get a better solution on these guys. Make your depth 100 feet. Actually, at this point, we might as well come to periscope depth and do a real quick periscope search. I like that idea even better. Passing 80 feet. Passing 60 feet. Hold steady at 4 or 5 feet. We're going to come too shallow. Don't breach. Don't breach. Go back down. Go back down. Uh, nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Not a single soul on planet Earth saw that. I like it when I get away with doing stuff. Nobody saw my sail breach the surface. Nobody saw my mistake. Alright, spread love bearing 280. There he is. Get positive range on this guy. Come on. There we go. Wow. He stayed four. I actually feel sorry for the guys on the Grishas. This is not... This would not be fun to be in right now. Wow, these guys are all getting pretty close. Exactly. If a submarine breaches the surface and nobody's around... Can you hear it? Alrighty. We have really, really good ranges and solutions on all targets. Shoot first at Master 1. Helm come left to course. Uh, let's make it 350. with this guy we might want to just hold north oh, we're close in keep heading well, keep heading left no active sonar yet thank god these waves are keeping our periscope hidden it seems like Jive Turkey said, I just got some terrible news I will share on the Discord channel when you have time. Oh, that's not good. Well, whatever it is, hopefully it's not too bad. That would suck. Yeah, anytime, if, anytime you want to either post it or message me, I'm all good. Alright, he's coming to a stop. He may have hurt us. Alright, Firepoint Procedures. Master 1 Grisha, Tube 1, bearing 335, range to enable 3,500 yards. Shoot 1. Jive, are you talking about uh, 
Richard Richard's dad over in Europe. I forgot what his uh, Discord name was. But I was very sad to hear that his father passed away. Oh, what was his name on Discord? Why do I not remember? I loved hearing all the stories about his time in the Navy with the Soviet Navy. The tall midget, yes. Yeah, that was tragic. That was really, really sad to hear that. Weapons enabled torpedo. Torpedo locked on. Alright, other Grisha. Ugh. Weapons. Uh, Alright, we're gonna... Master 3. Oh no, he's too close. Master 3, let's get... Ooh, torpedo's really close. Yes! Weapon hit, Master 1, Grisha 3. Alright, helm, left full rudder, reload tube 1. There you are. He is bearing 246. Hold course at 260. NXT! Good to see ya, man. NXT L68 on YouTube. Kind of become one of my regulars. I appreciate it, man. Good to see ya. Welcome back to the stream. I am desperately searching for a capital ship tonight. So far, no luck. All I've been finding... Although the Sverdlov is a pretty large ship. I'm, in, I'm excited to try to sink this guy. Not this guy, but... Uh, where did he go? Not that guy. Which way did he go, George? That guy. I want to sink that guy. He is not going to get away. All right. Bearing 249. Alright, Firepoint Procedure. Firepoint Procedure? Yeah. Firepoint Procedure, Master 3 Grisha. Tube 3. Bearing 261, range to enable 1,900 yards. Shoot 3. He is all. He is definitely within RBU range. So far, he does not see us. We're going to lower scope, try to keep that. Alright, depth control all down. Red Rider, welcome back, man. Extra grog for the crew when you sink the capital ship. Yes, that is the plan. I'll give the crew full liberty, liberty leave for at least 24 hours if we can sink a capital ship. we got to find a capital ship, though. Torpedo has gone active, homing on Grisha. Grisha might fire a torpedo at us. We're so close. Yes! All right, did not. Let's get back up to periscope depth. Torpedo room, reload, tube three, T lam, or TASM. Not a T lam, a TASM. Right full rudder. Bring us to course 282, actually. Bring us to course 275. See if we can not breach this time. I mean, totally didn't breach the last time I came up to periscope depth. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Passing 75 feet. Passing six zero feet. Approaching periscope depth. We're gonna come up to four or five feet to get above the waves. Or four four, apparently. Man, 
man, that Grish is blowing up pretty hard. Yeah, buddy. All right, up scope. Red Rider says, but isn't that how it works in the movies? Massive flank speed, breach, then running on the surface? No. The only movie I remember that working in was uh, Down Periscope, and that's only because the first sub went up to the surface. All right, Sverdlov bearing 282. There he is. There he is. No, you can't get away. All right. Is he leaving? Is he leaving this guy behind? Sverdlov, range 20,000 yards. Dubna, range. Come on, give me the range. 19, he is leaving this guy behind. All right, switch to narrow beam search on the T, on the TASM. <laughs> All right, fire point procedure, master two, Sverdlov. Tube three, missile bearing. Two, seven, two, really? He's bearing two, seven, two from us? Oh, that's the Dubna. Nope, we want the Sverdlov. Bearing 283, range to enable, 18,300 yards. All right, let's zoom this out first. 283, range to enable, 18,600 yards. Fire three. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah, going for the big boy. All right, let's, uh... Watch this approach, shall we? That's a fat baby right there. All right, we're gonna make this as cinematic as we can. There's the spared love. God, I love these shots in this game. Such a good looking game. I'm gonna steal that as a screenshot as well. Yeah, we got a hit. His COS was not enough because it was a stern on shot. Was one TASM enough? God, look at all those AA guns. I'm surprised that TASM got through actually with all those AA guns. That is nuts. One was not enough. Damn. Wow. Holy buckets. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely insane. Why the hell did we get turned way over here? Wow. He turned... He turned abroad. If I shoot another TAS, TASM at him right now, all his guns, all his side guns can come to bear. He's going to shoot it down. So what we're going to do instead, we're going to take a shot at the Dubna. Fire part procedure, Master 4 Dubna, bearing 264, range to enable 15,800 yards. Shoot to. <laughs> Missile on its way. Where the hell is the target? Um, Dubna bearing 268. Oh, right there. Yep. Should be enabling out far enough for the missile to turn in. Oh, this poor, poor sucker. Poor man. I feel bad for these guys. Yeah. All right, that should have been enough to sink the Dubna. Yep, Dubna sunk. Let's reload one more TASM. 
while they reload, I am going to hold my daughter for my wife for a bit. I don't have to avoid torpedoes this time. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, on yesterday's stream, uh, while I was holding her, I was getting attacked. Yeah, had to do torpedo beats with one hand. That was pretty difficult. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to go like this, actually. Load two TASMs, and when they're loaded, I'll fire both off at the Sverdlov, because he's easily going to be able to shoot one down. I'm going to try to get two at him, coming from separate angles. Ouch. Uh, uh, YouTube is set to 720. Sorry, guys, I'm missing your chats here. YouTube is both YouTube and Twitch are set to 720. It's possible it might be my piss poor upload speed. I only have four, four megs upload because I live in a small town in Wisconsin. So our local internet place are jerks and they don't offer the whole town fiber optic like they have coming to our industrial park in town. Our industrial park can get one gig upload and 500 meg or one gig download, 500 upload. But all the residential in the town only get five or 50 meg down, four up. So, it's kind of sad. And because our town village board is run by the same people that own the internet company, only one internet company is allowed. Isn't that right, baby girl? <laughs> oh, why do you have to squirm so much? A cheese head! Yes, I am a cheese head. Yeah, it shouldn't be that bad, though, guys. I'm not sure why it's set to be that bad. Um, dropped frames, 0.1%. That's not bad at all. Uploading at 30 FPS. Plenty of... Uh, plenty of speed upload. And stream... Oh, come on. And there goes my phone with the YouTube chat on it. I tell you, destructive children. Jive says you you broke YouTube live. What? It's not bad at the minute. Okay, well that's good. Get that cord that's plugged into the wall socket out of your mouth. All right, stream health. Yeah, YouTube says everything's good. Twitch says everything's good. I wonder why. I wonder if it's Restream that doesn't every now and then kind of lower the quality. I, I don't know. Don't, no. 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 Don't do it. There. Good girl. She is trying really hard to break everything on me. All right, so that's set there. Stream health. Bitrate is 2400 solidly. Everything looks good. Maybe it's just random buffering on YouTube. I don't know. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Uriel says, I, so there, I have to stream with, or game with my nine-month-old. Yep, mine is ten months, almost eleven months in six days. Yep, I'm not sure why the stream buffers like that, guys. No, I will not let you play with my headset. <laughs> yeah, yeah, laugh it up, fuzzball. <laughs> uh, Alright, <laughs> missiles are loaded. Ow! Now she's trying to choke me. All right, we're going to, um, let's see, one-handed, need to use the mouse and the space bar. 
What? No, no, put that down. Okay, you're going in my left hand. <laughs> Video working again. Uh, that's good. I, yeah, I just, I don't know why, guys. Sorry about the stream quality every now and then. I'll see if I can't, maybe I can up the bitrate, or the, yeah, bitrate on it. But I'll, I'll experiment a little bit with that. Alright, we're going to fire you there, and you there. Ouch! I'd say that was pretty good one-handed. At least this guy's not shooting back at me like the targets yesterday were. You stopped trying to pull my cord out of my headset, matey. Matey? Young lady was what I was trying to say. Baby girl. Hey. Oi. <laughs> Chive says I fixed YouTube live. Yay. Alright. Let's switch over to his view. In theory, there are two missiles about to hit him. In theory. Yes. You just stay happy touching the side of my headset. You can play with the side of my headset all you want. Just don't chew on cords that are plugged into wall sockets. Ow! <laughs> God. You have nails. We need to clip your nails. Oh, man. Did both of these missiles miss? I'm going to be really upset if both of these missiles missed. Ouch. Hey. You stop being destructive. Yes, you stop being destructive. Ah. Uh. Or, option two, um, I have no sight on any of my missiles. He shot them down. Oh, ouch! Stop talking to me! Ugh. Oy. Okay, stop, 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 stop. How far is he? 19,000 yards? He's not moving. Very fast. Ouch. Ouch. Press time. <laughs> Anna, you stop. Yeah, you spit at me all you want. Yeah. Uh. on YouTube. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the laughs. All right, we got the spared love. Yay. God, we wasted way too many tasms on that guy. Oh, man. All right. Got all four targets. That makes me happy. Spared love is as close to a capital ship as I've gotten. We're still looking for a capital ship. How are we sitting on weapons? Ooh, we got a medal. We just got a medal. Ooh, distinguished service medal. Ow, no, don't chew on the cord. No. No, hey. Uh, ow. <laughs> Sorry for the baby interruptions, guys. Uh, she is trying to be as destructive as possible. Uh. Catasm Struffy? Yeah. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Seabass, I think you're trying too hard. <laughs> or not hard enough. One of the air. Uh. 
Intelligence estimates note indicate that Spetsnaz commandos will land from submarine in vicinity of Narvik. All right, Narvik. Let's go to Narvik. Did I not say continue? Okay, there we go. XO status report. We have two TASMs remaining. Let's load torpedoes. We're going. Eh, we'll keep one TASM loaded. There we go. Continue on course. All right, where's the big boys? I want the big boys. I also want... Oh, no, we don't. Go away. All right, so the guy behind us, I'm pretty sure, did not hit us. Not hit us? Not detect us. But someone did. <laughs> Real says, I love the baby integration in this stream. Well, thank you. And NXT says, I wish the ground war was tied more to the naval war more than the campaign points. Uh, yeah, that might be something that gets implemented eventually. I'm, I'm okay with, ouch, <laughs> God, uh. Oy. Anyways, what I was saying was, uh, I kind of like it how it is now. I mean, a ground war in Europe wouldn't completely depend on how the naval war was going. Um, the naval war would affect it, but uh, there are a lot of NATO forces. No, get the cord out of your mouth, baby girl. All right, here, chew on this. Here, see? Look, shiny. Ooh. Yep, there you go. Chew on that. Mission accomplished. Baby distracted. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so what were we talking about again? Oh, yeah, ground war in Europe. Uh, there's a lot of NATO ground forces in Europe already scattered about, so it wouldn't completely depend on the naval war. Let's close to 15,000 yards. I want to see what this is. Oh, yeah, rig for ultra quiet. And you guys are still talking over there on YouTube. Um... NXT says, like they have pushed into Belgium and Denmark, but oh, this random sub just got sunk. Better launch the nuke subs. Eh, yeah. Because the point system makes it way too fast. Around. Well, I do have... that. That is the only mod I have installed right now, is the long campaign mod, longer campaign mod. Uh, so it will take, I believe... It will be at least longer than 29 minutes. Really? Really? You think you're funny, don't you? Spitting on me. And that's a torpedo! And she's spitting on me. Oh, Lord. No, my baby is not an AI beta patch. Uh, all head flank. Where'd that torpedo come from? We're going to snapshot a torpedo active torpedo down that torpedo bearing and we're gonna run like hell mind you this is all one-handed so my hand has to go over to the keyboard to press buttons and then back to the mouse and we lost the wire we knew we were gonna lose the wire that I think that guy's I think a ways out all right it's really hard maneuvering a ship with your right hand um, come up Really? More spit? More spit. All right. Helm, more spit. <laughs> God. Torpedo room, reload tube one. Oh, man. And more spit. Ugh. All right, so we have a torpedo incoming. No idea on a target. He's in our baffles now. Zero one faded. Ouch. Oh, baby girl, you're a pill. <laughs> oh, man. All right, was that my torpedo or his that went active? I think it was mine. 
He is active pinging. All right, come right to 350-ish. 350-ish. I don't need it to be exact. Oh, you are so heavy when you decide to go dead weight. Ouch! <laughs> God. Uh. Okay, our torpedo has a course change. It just, it's acquired a target. Torpedo was on this course. It's got a nice course change there. Our torpedo has acquired a target. All right, we're gonna cheat. I wanna see what this is. Oh, you're kidding me. Ah, oh, you're telling me we got intercepted by a diesel electric boat? I did not wanna get intercepted by this guy. Countermeasure avoidance maneuver. Is that a, I don't even know what sub that is. Foxtrot? Tango. It's a tango. It's a tango. I'm not sure if it's coming through on stream, but my daughter's just sitting here spitting at me. <laughs> While chewing on a little rubber chew toy. Was his torpedo now? Oh, you hurt. Okay, we're good. All ahead. All ahead. Pfft. Ahead one third. Speed up time a little bit. See if we pick up on contact. Ouch. All right. Nothing. What? Are you effing kidding me? Was that the torpedo that finally went active? I think that was just the torpedo that finally went active. Oh, okay. We're good. Ow! No, you can't go down. Ouch! 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 Oh, man. 23 pounds on a wrist after a while it gets tiring. What, did you drop it? Did you drop your chew toy? What did you do with it? Here, here it is. Alrighty, anything nearby? No, let's go find a capital ship. I wanna do a capital ship. Yes, do a capital ship before I end the stream tonight. Ouch, God, that hurt. All right, let's go check over by Iceland. I don't care if the Spetsnaz get into Narvik. Spetsnaz aren't going to really take the whole country. Alright, there's got to be someone around here. Find someone! For me to kill. Why are they not finding anyone for me to kill? This is really not good. Um... No, would you put that down? No, put it down. <laughs> no, let, <laughs> let go. <laughs> oh, man. No. <laughs> I had sandwiches before the stream, so I have bread on my desk, and she wants it really bad. Um... Uh, Flycore on Twitch asks, is this game only submarine? Right now it is. Um, they've said some of the possibilities could be future ship, but that's not a confirmed thing. <laughs> Good night, Princess Hana. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, daughter makes surviving as a submarine very difficult. And the Spetsnaz did get into Norway. Yeah, they have all the code in the game for all the surface ships, all the submarines, so it really wouldn't be that impossible for them to add NATO ships, more Soviet ships, NATO-controlled ships, 
you know, the, this uh, this game has a lot of potential if they choose to stick with it and uh, continue development on it. Wait, what was my mission again? Uh, Wolf Pack, Sail from Hermansk, Transit, Denmark Strait. All right, so we're already in position for the future Wolf Pack coming, but I want to find a surface group with a mother blessed capital ship. I have not sank a single capital ship since I purchased this game, and it's really starting to annoy me. Who are these guys? Oh, there they are. There they are. Go, go, go. All right. We're going to close to 10,000 yards because if it's a capital ship, it needs to die. We're going to replace the Tasm with a Moss. So hopefully we can actually survive. We are only going five knots, so we should be awfully quiet. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Um, what do we got? Contact 0102. More than likely it's just an anti-sub group, so it won't have a capital ship, but we can always hope. Let's get some classifications. Ooh, three targets. That's good news. Ah, shite. That's an Udaloy. Very dangerous anti-submarine ship. Sierra 3. Cannon. Sierra 2. Sierra 2 a sub? Sierra 2 looks like a Victor 2 class submarine. Interesting. Not the targets I want to engage. But still very interesting. Up scope. I want a good look at the. Oh my god, he's right there. Oh, hi. <laughs> You see nothing, you hear nothing, you know nothing, nothing here. Just pretend you on vacation. I don't know why I went Asian crappy accent with that, but I did. Um, so that sucks right there. That really sucks right there. Um... Any other close contacts? That's a big negative. That Udaloy is only 13,000 yards away. Um, down scope. Hmm, thanks, babe. Free pop. My favorite kind of pop. All right. There are two options. I can engage this group, or I can run like hell. Um, any Anybody have any suggestions? I like suggestions. Or preference? <laughs> uh, what would you guys rather see? Would you guys rather I try to get a capital ship, or just go after this group? I should be able to get just far enough away from these guys to leave combat. Fly Corps says engage. All right. First suggestion. We'll go with it. Um, first off, where does Sonar think the Victor 2 is? Right at the surface with us. All right. Dive, make your depth 400 feet. We're going to shoot a Moss off to the north. Well, actually, we might be better off shooting it. We're going to shoot a moss off to the northwest. West-northwest. Hopefully get those ships to engage our mobile submarine simulator, or our decoy here. And then we will engage. First target is going to have to be that Udaloy. He can A, launch a Hilo, and B, launch uh, SSN-16 cruise missile assisted torpedoes. Both very dangerous. Helm come left to course. 
three five zero. Continue on. Continue down bubble to four hundred feet. All right, let's level out the boat. We'll use depth control to get the rest of the way. Passing three six zero feet. All right, 400 feet, level off. And helm stay left full rudder. Continue on course to 350. Speed up time a little bit for the turn. They still have not even, they haven't noticed me yet, perfect. All right, weapons con. Launch Moss Bearing. I wanted to go. Yep, Bearing 288. Shoot two. Alright, come back up to. Come back up to periscope depth. Well, eh, 200 feet. Come, come shallow, 200 feet. Hopefully they'll see that moss before too long. We have excellent bearings on both surface ships. Uh, Victor 2 is still a little bit... Oh, we lost Master 3 cannon. How interesting. All right, level off the boat. Bow. We are bow on to the cannon, so it's we're less likely to hear him. Our best, our best passive sonar is our tow array, which basically hears out to the sides the best. All right, a solution on the Udaloy is still 95%. Beautiful. Torpedo room reload TASM tube two. Releasing ship from ultra quiet. And ambient noise level is pretty average, 78 decibel. Let's speed up, see if anyone takes the bait of our moss there. Wow, they're still just charging ahead. Um, we have a better solution on the Victor now. Oh, I don't want to do this. Someone please don't make me do this. I don't want to fire a TASM at the Udaloy. I really don't want to fire a TASM at the Udaloy. Uh, we can leave. They're out quite a ways yet. Options, options, options. Yeah, sorry, Flycore. They're just moving away too fast. I'm just going to leave this combat, and we'll find someone else to engage. Hopefully another surface group. Let's get these guys. All right, again, we'll close the 10,000 yards. We're going five knots, depth 50 feet. We are at periscope depth, and we're loaded to bear. They're bearing 049, so they're off our starboard bow. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right, 01, let's get a read on him. Should be a surface ship. Looks like maybe a Krivak or a Kashin. Either one. Interesting. We have a car class guided missile cruiser. Interesting. Alright, 
Sonar currently has him out at 46,000 yards. I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Let's check with the periscope. Switch to low light. Car is bearing 049. There he is. All right, depth control bring us up to four or five feet. Get above these waves. Get it. Come on. There we go. Range target is. Come on. I don't know why it heck does that. Seventeen thousand yards. Echo 2. Not a car. Not a spirit love. Crested 2 class guided missile cruiser. Target 28,000 yards. Oh, these guys are really spread out. And that's something you never want to see. Flycar asks, have you seen any whales or heavy storms? Do they even... Yep. I've seen... Not like heavy storms like you would think, like... Uh, lightning and extremely heavy waves but uh, yeah the seas can get pretty bad and the cloud cover does change god there's just nothing out there except these two guys I was expecting a landing force with this group running along the coast like this we got nothing just two lonely ships a car and a cresta Here's the car. Huh? And similar ship, but slightly smaller, the Cresta. Well, nope. Wanted to keep the scope up. Hit zero instead of P. Alright. Switch to low light. Cara, bearing zero five zero. There you are. Ambient noise level eighty eight decibel. Not bad. Not the greatest. Helm come right to course. Uh, zero one zero. Up time just a little bit. Alrighty. We're going to take a shot at the Kara. Firepoint procedures. Master 1 Kara. Tube 1. Bearing 036. Range to enable 6,000 yards. Almost sounded like a rocket being fired. Don't like not knowing where that helo is. Now let's try to find that helo again.
Come on, little birdie. Where'd you go? No visual on enemy helo. That's not good. So he might have gone back and landed. He might still be in the air searching. Unfortunately, they have not yet modeled in the helicopter taking off and landing. So even though you see a helicopter there, and you see a helicopter here, right on the back, that doesn't mean the helos are actually on the ships. Hopefully that's something they will implement, but they haven't yet. Alright, torpedo looks on course. Wow, uh, guys on YouTube, I apologize, but YouTube chat did not update for me recently. The last I saw was Eriel saying my baby is kind of like an AI. NXT says true, Seabass says chew on that here, look Ushai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to quote Jingles, take Billy Big Steps in the... <laughs> Con baby, we're spitting. You guys are funny. <laughs> Jive, you gotta get those spit numbers up. Those are rookie numbers. Does baby spitting sound anything like cavitation? It sounds like a tango. <laughs> wow, I missed a lot from you guys. I'm glad it finally updated. Ah, I missed a lot. I apologize, guys. I thought uh, YouTube was up to date, but it was not at all. And we missed the detonation. Sorry about that. You won't see the helo until it's annoying you. Yeah, there is that. <laughs> if this campaign is being thrown to find a cap ship. It's not being thrown per se, but I definitely want to get a cap ship, E-Real. Alright, we're going to have a little bit of fun with this guy here. Let's see if he can shoot this down. That was like a snapshot of a TASM. Alright, now he's going to start firing rockets at me. You just watch. Alright, Firepoint Procedure Master 2 Cresta. Tube 3 bearing 1. Range 11,800 yards. Shoot 3. We lost the wire right away for some reason. Torpedo room reload tubes. Ah, uh, he put up flares. There's the missile. Oh, it's a hatch. We got it. I didn't need to fire the torpedo. Damn. I figured he was going to shoot it down. Well, we wasted a torpedo. Speed up time. Okay, so I have 3D models on, which means even if I can't see them on sonar, I can hear them and see them on 3D models. So that helo is still in the air. That's good to know. Is it anywhere near us? No, it's near... Looks like it's near the car, so it is near us. Yeah, there we are. Everyone think quiet thoughts. Scope down. Is there a lair? There's no lair! Why is there no lair? Um, just go away. You don't need to see. All right, I'll stop. Use depth control to come down to a 100 feet. <laughs> Can we leave? Nope, weapon's nearby. Okay, so that aircraft is not close enough. But that weapon is keeping me from... Kinda looks like I may have blown a hole in the side of his ship. I saw about that. It was a nice looking ship. Alright, go away, Hilo. Nobody likes you. Nobody likes the helicopter. Passing 200 feet. Alright. Level off. 
Hopefully our torpedo is going to home in on the wreck. Yep, there it goes. All right, we're going to speed up again. Can we leave yet? We can leave. Screw you, helicopter. All right, we're free. Well done, but this was not your mission target. Yeah, I know. What the hell is our mission target anyways? Wolfpack. Transit the Denmark Strait. Oh. Um. So we are in totally the wrong position here. Is this guy going up to the Denmark Strait? Possibly. Okay, we're going to sit here and wait. Anytime now. Sorry guys, my wife was texting me from in bed with the baby. Pump the ballast tanks full of helium for added benefit. Yeah, Red Rider tried to get me to do that a few streams ago. He's like, just go above the water. submarine group all right let's get them classified first Which might be SSGNs might not be SSGNs probably a Victor Victor 1 zero 02 Victor 1 zero 03 also a Victor 1 so Sierra 1 should be probably an Oscar or a Charlie. Sierra 1 classified as Charlie 1. With its little cruise missiles up there. Alright, this could be fun. Um... Victor ones are not all that capable, but they are still can be very deadly because they can launch SSN uh, 14s, rocket assisted torpedoes. For when your torpedo just doesn't get there fast enough, use an SSN 14 now with fully capable rocket motors. Bass, if you're teasing me like that, you're being mean. Very, very mean. Mm -hmm. Come on, give me better solutions on these guys. 52 on Sierra 3. Alright, we're going to come across their line of sight. Helm right full rudder. Ooh, I hope he didn't... Sierra 2 just got me. He might have got me on active. Uh, uh, no, please no, does that count? Okay, he slowed back down, we're still quiet, we're going to try to get a better solution on him, alright, rudder amidships, Sierra 2, solution up to 63%. Come on, come on. 66%. 
I will fire at a 75% solution. Alright, Victor 1, we have a 95% solution on. He must be cavitating. Maybe not. Maybe he's just at our depth. And the Charlie 1 is a 63% solution. Oh, these guys are awfully close. Within 6,000 yards. I'm going to tell this guy to go run deep. These guys to run level. The other two looks like they're right at my depth. We're going to do a spread here. God, I don't know why my YouTube chat isn't keeping up. Well, thanks, Red Rider. I try to pay attention. Jive is always trying to catch up on chat, it seems. All right, we're going to do this spread. We got uh, decent solutions on all targets. All right, Firepoint Procedure. Sierra 2, Victor 1, Tube 1. Bearing 045 degrees, range to enable 2,600 yards. Shoot one. Firepoint procedure, CR1, Charlie 1. Bearing 117, range 3,500 yards. Shoot three. And firepoint procedure, CR3, Victor 1. Tube 4, bearing 169, range 4,100 yards. Shoot four. Sonar launch from Sierra, er, launch transit from Sierra 2 Victor 1. Torpedo incoming. All right. Switch to torpedo evasion. All ahead flank. Down full bubble. Bring us down. Make your depth 900 feet. Sierra 1 fired back at us. Sierra 1. Or no, Sierra 2 fired back at us. Sierra 1 is cavitating. He sees the torpedo. He's gone to flank speed. Sierra 3 has not yet done anything. Contact faded on Sierra 3. He's off our bow. This is a very dangerous location to be in. Passing 500 feet. Left full rudder. Close distance on that torpedo before it arms. Passing 700 feet. Level out the boat. Stay left full rudder. Close distance on that incoming torpedo. Hit on CR2 Victor 1. Stay at flank. Closing in on Sierra 1 Charlie. Target acquired on Sierra 3 Victor. Torpedo change course. All targets acquired by tor active torpedoes. This torpedo looks like it will be too high. Yep. Good job. We closed range before it could activate. Noisemaker bearing 188. Sierra 3 attempting torpedo evasion. Sierra 1 Charlie hit and sinking. Yes. Come on. All targets hit. Speed up time, get past, get out of range of this active torpedo. There we go. Three contacts found, three sunk. Beautiful. All three on the initial firing vectors. Love it. Convoys protected. Spetsnaz commandos landing in Spitzbacken. All right, reload tubes. All right, we're gonna make one last attempt to find a capital ship here. someone would pick something up. Man. 
Belgium surrenders. God, our maritime patrol aircraft just aren't finding anything. seeing any surface ships out there. Alright, we lost the Spetsnaz. Uh, tankers and tenders going up to the Greenland Sea. Hmm. You would think there would be some capital ships operating north of Iceland. Or some surface ships at least. Man, I can't believe we're not finding anything. New sonar contact, it's probably a sub. Rig for ultra quiet, we'll speed up and see what it is. Alright, let's classify him and if we can, we'll get away. If we can engage, we'll engage. Yeah, it's a sub. Victor 1. Can we leave? No, vessel's nearby. Oh, vessel's really nearby. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, who else is nearby? Okay, that was kind of cheap, but I still want to find a capital ship before I end the stream. Eticer says, yo, I am considering getting this game. What do you think of it? Very fun. If you're into submarines at all, get the game. Full price, sale price, doesn't matter. It's worth it. Yeah, I know, the Ruskies took out the Sosis line. Head flank, let's just get the hell out of here. I don't know what the hell else is out there. Vessel still nearby. Might as well reload tube 3 while we're at it. The only thing I'm disappointed about this game is that I have not. Yeah, it is. NXT on YouTube, at Eticer says, it is simultaneously easier and harder than the Silent Hunter series. He's got a point. In some ways, it's harder than Silent Hunter. In some ways, it's easier. And this guy thinks he's going to be an asshole and drop a torpedo on me. That would be an SSN-14, or 16 rocket assisted torpedo fired from whatever that other target is weapons nearby still weapon what how are the weapons nearby it blew up there are no weapons nearby unless he fired another SSN 16 yep he fired another SSN 16 So he's shooting rockets that come out of his torpedo tube, go up to the surface, and rocket towards where he told, tells it to, and then it breaks apart and drops the torpedo in the water. There we go. We're gone. A Victor 3 and a Victor 2. Wow, that was a very strong Victor subgroup. I know this was not my target. I want to find a damn surface group. I need to find... A surface group. All right, we're gonna scout the Barents. I don't want to scout the Barents, but we're going to. Oh, that would be the subtender group, which I don't necessarily want to. Mm. All right, this probably isn't our group either, or a surface group. And 
and we can't see anything. Very noisy out there. Holy cow. Uh, we can't hear shite. There's nothing nearby. We're just going to keep looking. Yeah, thank God. Holy cow. Two Sierras and a Victor. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. A surface group. Guys, it's a surface group. Eticer says, never played many games with subs, but I love watching a good movie with them. Crimson Tide, The Hunt for Red October, and Das Boot. Yep. Even Down Periscope was good. I mean, they got a lot of stuff right in Down Periscope, even. And that's just a comedy. All right, this is a service group, guys. Keep your fingers crossed that there is a capital ship. We don't have many weapons. Holy crap, we do not have many weapons. Okay, three contacts on sonar. Sierra 2. Give me a capital ship. Come on. You know you want to be a... That's a cannon. That's not a capital ship. Um, this does also not look like a capital ship. This almost looks like a sub. Victor, Victor class submarine. Which one is it? Victor 2 and Sierra 1. Do not have clear reading on Sierra 1. Nah, it doesn't look like an Oodaloy. Unfortunately, it's not a capital ship. Oh, so ticked off. Could be a Kara. No, it looks like a cash in. See if we're missing any targets here. At this point, sea bass, I think I will wet myself if I find a capital ship. Problem is, I'm not finding any capital ships, and it's getting kind of annoying. Yep, we're right on that one, cannon. Victor 4. Also a cash in. Damn it. This is a very strange surface group. Sierra 1 upgraded to Master 1. No other close targets. Damn. Alright, who's bow on right now? Zero, that's the cash in. Is there anyone bow on right now? You, no, you're turning. And you're broadside. That sucks. this group real quick and we're gonna take a shot just because that has any chance of hitting. Maybe. And that wasn't 
to cash in. That was a Kribac. Alright, got the classification wrong. I'm not afraid to admit when I, when I screwed up. Looks like we acquired the Victor too. Yep, definitely acquired the Victor too. I'm okay with that. Still nothing here. We got the cash in. This one might. Huh, no, he's far out of the detection cone speed up here real quick. Yeah, I think that one's gonna miss. Ooh, we can still steer to Torpedo 1. Alright, let's steer 1 onto the target. We'll activate Torpedo 1. And he did acquire. Perfect. I think we're out of TASMs. Yeah, we're out of TASMs. Alright, Tube 2. Fire on a bearing for Victor 4 Cashin. Not the group I wanted to kill, but more tonnage. Goodbye. And final torpedo. Should be able to steer this one consistently to the target. He's a long ways out, too. For cashing 30,000 yards. <whistles> I might not even have enough fuel to get there. Sadly, it doesn't look like we're going to find a capital ship tonight. I really, really wanted to. I even skipped missions to find a capital ship. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Well, we have something to look forward to tomorrow night. Yeah, Seabass <laughs> says, knowing your luck... You'll run into a capital ship on your return to base trip with no weapons left. That would totally be my luck. What are we down to? Three torpedoes. We're down to the weapons and the tubes now. Ah, uh, man. But, sadly... Sadly, it'll have to wait till tomorrow night. I already went about an hour and 15 long in my normal stream. So, excellent results. However, this was not your mission objective. Yes, I know. We'll save before that sub catches us. Well, thank you everyone. Everyone who tuned in, everyone who followed. I appreciate all you guys. I love the banter back and forth. You guys are, you guys are part jerk, part awesome, part funny, part annoying in Seabass's case. But it's okay. I love all of you equally. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. You made the stream a lot of fun. Ah, oh, God, I need a capital ship so bad. I need a capital ship like a 30-year-old guy living in his mother's basement needs a woman. <laughs> oh, man. Well, you guys have a great night. NXT, Red Rider, Seabass, Ereal, all of you guys. e -Ticer, just for tuning in. You know? Thank you, guys. I hope you have a wonderful night. Happy hunting out there. And if you don't have this game and you think it even might be fun, I recommend getting it. It's a lot of fun. There is a slight uh, learning curve on it. But once you get that, it's all fun. Have a wonderful night, guys. What are you trying to say, Exodus? Red Rider, I'm trying to say that Seabass is full of himself. But he's still awesome. That's all that matters. <laughs> We'll see you next time.